Hello everyone, I'm a PR Academic Advisor for the School of Engineering and today I will be showing you how to enroll in a class. So we start off with two pages to the University Registrar's website, which is reg.uci.edu. On the first one, we're going to go ahead and go to the schedule of classes, which is going to help us find the class we want to register in. So today we're going to be looking at taking Physics 7C and Physics 7LC. So all of these are different ways you can narrow your search. You always want to make sure you're in the correct term, which is going to be the upcoming term. And then today we're going to be using the department name. So we're going to scroll down and find physics. And then also put the course number or range in so we can see directly the class we want to take. We're going to press display web results to get to this page. And then the first thing we see is this large block of text. It's very important to read this text because it gets going to tell you any rules that you need to know before enrolling in a class for a certain department, always make sure to read this. And then moving down, we finally see the class we want to take. So first thing I'm going to talk about is the prerequisite button right here. Once we click it, we can find the prerequisites for our classes. So for Physics 7C, it lays them out right here. And then for Physics 7LC, it tells us that Physics 7C is a co-requisite for this class. Going back to the schedule of classes, the, for Physics 7C, we can see that we have three sections, Section A, Section B, and Section C. And under each section, we have different discussion options. So for Lecture A, there is discussions A1 through A8. So you can take any of these for Lecture A. One thing you cannot do is take discussion B2. If you are in Lecture A, you must take a discussion in the same section as your lecture. Moving on, another important column to highlight is the restrictions column right here. This is going to tell you any restrictions placed on this class, and this could affect whether or not you can enroll in this class. So always make sure to take a look over here and scroll all the way to the bottom to find the key for the restrictions. Down here, you can also find the column definitions, which are going to tell you more about each of the columns in the schedule of classes. And then since we know that we also need to take Physics 7 LC, we can also look over here and see that we can take any of these labs for whatever lecture we choose. So whether you choose Lecture A, Lecture B, or Lecture C, you can take any of these labs because they are a different class than the lecture. After we know what classes we want to take, we're going to move on to our different page and we're going to go to WebReg right here. We're going to press access WebReg and that's going to take us to this main menu right here. Once we're on the main menu right here, we can look at enrollment window to see when we're able to enroll in our classes. We can look at fee status to see if we have paid our fees and when they're due by. But what we're going to mostly be interested in is the enrollment menu right here. So over here, we're going to be able to add our classes. So let's say that we want to enroll in Lecture A. We're going to copy the course code in this column right here and then put it in this category and press Add. And then we're going to press Send Request. It's going to give us a note that we also need to enroll in the code class, which is the discussion. So we're going to go ahead and copy the discussion code that we want. Again, making sure that it is in the same section as your lecture. You cannot take a discussion in a different section. And then doing the same thing where you press add and adding the course code. And then you have successfully added Physics 7C. Since you know that you also need Physics 7LC for your major, you're going to go down here and pick the lab that you want. Let's say I want lab three, and we're going to copy the course code. Before you add Physics 7LC, always make sure you're enrolled in Physics 7C first, since it is a co-requisite. We're going to press add and do the same thing for the lab, and then it's going to show us that we're successfully in the lab. Another thing to note about WebReg is that you can go to the waitlist menu. So if a class has a waitlist, not all classes have waitlist, but if it does, you can join the waitlist by pressing waitlist add over here and putting the course code just like before. If you have any questions, always make sure to ask your academic advisors or peer academic advisors so they can assist you. Thank you.